In this video, we are going to look at cross-site scripting vulnerability. The outline of the video is first what is XSS, then demo using DVWA and in last real life reports. First, what is cross-site scripting? I'll explain you while giving you demo using DVWA. So here is DVWA and let's log in using our default username and password that is admin and the password password. Now go to your DVW security and change it to low. Change it to low. Okay. And now go to your XSS reflected. Now, before starting, what is XSS? I want to tell you there are many types of XSS. XSS is a very wide topic and there are many types of XSS. So in this video, I'll show you only reflected XSS. And I will also tell you about stored XSS. But you can read more on OWASP. So let's go to reflected XSS and see what is XSS. So this is a website. In this website, a user can enter some data. If this data is not sanitized properly, then user can enter HTML tags. And because there is no check on the input user provide, website allows HTML tags that user provide. If I use B tag, this is bold tag, which make a word bold. If I say hello, H E E L L O, and I use this bold tag, and I as I enter submit, you can see this is default hello, and this is hello that we entered, and you can see it becomes bold. So what happened? Website allowed HTML tag also, and if some website allows HTML tags to be executed, then there are the chances of cross-site scripting and why we call this reflected cross-site scripting because in whatever user input it gets reflected let's see what OWSP says so it is type of injection because attacker inject some script in which malicious script okay so a script that harms user in some way that is malicious script are injected into otherwise banning and trusted websites Accesses attack occur when attacker uses a web application to send malicious code generally in the form of browser side script. Okay, we will enter JavaScript also and that is browser side script. Okay, let's see the page source. So I entered hello. Let's enter something else. Say DVWA and I submit. So if I go to their page source and search for DVWA here. So this is reflected here. Hello DVWA. So if I enter something in bold that that is hello and if I go for hello hello here you can see I entered this. This is as a whole and website allows allows me to enter HTML tags. There could be a chances of XSS. Now let's try to enter a script. One thing that I want to say, if, if a website allows any HTML tag to be executed, then there could be a chances of XSS that is also known as HTML injection, which is a different vulnerability. So let's try with script. Now a script tag is used in HTML to run JavaScript. So if I call a function which says alert hello and this will, this will inject the script and you can see our alert box popped up and this is how reflected cross-site script works let's recall what i'm trying to say so if any website is reflecting some user input in their view page source and in that input a html tag is allowed or script tag is allowed then there is a chance of cross-site scripting and how is it stored different to them here if i refresh the page then the data input is vanished but in stored it get stored stored xss can be found in some blog type of web application like this name message sign guest book you can explore it by yourself let's see some reports so this is the report that was reported to blockchain and bounty's rewarded was of 400 dollar now let's see the application at this is vulnerable to reflected XSS slash HTML injection. 
through the URL at the block index page. So here what is happening here. So whenever this person is typing something here after this 1160457, it is reflecting on the web page. So now he go to the page source and see how he can break the HTML tag and can start the new HTML tag. And he was able to do that and he entered the HTML tags. The another report is reported to GratiPay and you can see the image file with an alert box. So this was reported to GratiPay. The another report, another reflected accesses report is on Vimeo and this is reported to Vimeo and the bounty was of $100. You can see he alerted the domain of the website. So this is all reflected accesses. There are various type of accesses. You can read about them and this is it for this video.